Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across this channel, you are most welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So in today's video, we will be making this beautiful short collar blouse. These are the fabric that we will be using for this tutorial. So I will be marking out my back pattern first. I will go ahead to fold it into two and rule out my starting point. From this point, I will take my shoulder measurements, which is my shoulder divided by 2 plus half inch sleeve joining allowance. Then I will take my shoulder slope. Then I will take my neck width and my neck depth. From this point, I will take my ammo depth. My chest line, then I will rule out my under bust line and my half length line. After that, I will go ahead to connect my arm hole line. I will be placing my bust measurement on my chest line. My bust measurement divided by 4 plus extra 3 inches allowance. 1 inch will be used for the dart, while the 2 other inches will be used for the sewing and ease. So on my waistline, I will also divide my waist circumference by 4 plus extra 3 inches allowance. Note that on this back piece, I didn't add zipper allowance because we won't be needing zipper for this blouse since it's having an opening at the front. Then I will take my bust pan divided by 2, I will mark it out like so and connect it. This is what I will be using for my princess cut. Then I will look for the midpoint of my arm O. I will divide that by 2 and connect it out like so. After this, I, I went ahead to cover my arm up and slant my shoulder. And I also went ahead to cover my neckline. After that, I went ahead to cut it out. Please, while cutting, remember to add extra 1 inch allowance at your waist. This will be used for your peplum joint. So this is the fabric I'll be using for my front piece. I've gone ahead to fold it into two. Then I'll be using 4 inch for my overlapping. I will rule out 4 inches down. Then I will rule out my starting line as well. So all my measurements will be starting from this line, not the tip of the fabric. I will go ahead to take my shoulder measurement divided by 2. Then come down with one inch for my shoulder slope and I also took my chest line, my under bust and my half length. So after this, I will go ahead to connect all my points with a straight line. So I will be taking my ammo depth here. So I took my boss pan divided by 2 and rule it out like so. And I'll also look for the midpoint of my arm O and connect it to my line. This will be used for my princess dart cutting. Because this is the front part, so I will go ahead to mark as half inch on both sides and connect it to my under bust. This way, I'll be having a very nice fitting after sewing. So I'll go ahead to mark as my bust measurement divided by 4. I will also take my waist divided by 4 
I will replace whatever I have on the dart line plus extra 3 inches allowance. Then I will rule it out like so. So I will be connecting my neck width to the tip of my fabric. From the princess that line on the arm oh, I came out with 1 inch. This will be my new arm oh. So after this I went ahead to cut it out. While cutting it out, I added extra 1 inch on my waistline. This will be used for the peplum joining. And I've also gone ahead to cut out my lining for both front and back pieces. The next thing I did was to turn everything out by the side and I've also gone ahead to join them. So this is what I'm having after turning and joining. And this is my sleeve as well. This is what I'll be using for the short collar. I went ahead to fold it into two and I'm having about length 45 here. And the width of this is 5 inches. And this is my belt. The next thing I'll be doing is to join the shoulders together. But before joining the shoulders together, I'll go ahead to trim out my arm hole. At this point, I went ahead to join my shoulder this way, flipping the lining on top of the other lining. I will be repeating this process to the other shoulder as well. So after this, I will go ahead to join them by the side. This is what I'm having after joining. As you can see, I didn't turn the front piece with the lining. I just stitched it down. And this is what I'll be using for the short collar. I folded it into two this way. The other side will be overlapping one. So one part will be longer than one. Go ahead to insert it around the shirt and pin it down before taking it to the sewing machine and stitch it. So after doing this, I will flip it backward and iron it with a pressing iron. And this is what it's looking like after stitching. So I went ahead to stitch it down at the tip just to secure it. And this is my peplum that I'll be attaching to it. I went ahead to fold it into four equal half. This way, when stitching it, my peplum will be evenly divided around the waist. So the next thing I'll be doing is to stitch my peplum to the blouse. And this is the outcome after stitching the peplum to the blouse. So I've also gone ahead to stitch my sleeve to the dress. 
and I'll also be stitching a little rope inside. This will be used to tie it inside. This belt will be tied around the waist. Thank you so much for watching to this point. Please ensure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that. Bye, see you in my next video.